everyone. It is Saturday. It is March 27th and it is 11.15 a.m. I am currently doing Uber Eats, the quest promotion where you complete five deliveries. You get five dollars, six, six, seven, seven, and so forth and so forth that ends at two. So um, I actually got my first order right away. I am headed to a liquor store for a 3.5 mile trip, I believe, for like seven something. So um, while I am on my way there, I will take this opportunity to thank everybody for all your support. I love you guys so much. If you are new to my channel, uh, my name is Tony King and I am a full-time gig worker and a full-time mom and I basically record myself using all these different gig apps um, and that is how I make my money and I bring you guys along for the ride and show you my strategies and multi-apping and my earnings and everything. Um, I am originally from Boston, Massachusetts but I moved here to St. Petersburg, Florida about two years ago. Um, so I hope that you enjoy my content and definitely hit that like button. If you are not subscribed already, please do so now and then click the bell notification to all so you get notified every time I drop a video. All right guys, let's do this. All right guys, we have got the booze. Dean is six minutes away. I'm about to send him his message letting him know that I am on the way. And I will see you guys when we get there. Well, that was super awkward. <laughs> First of all, when I pulled up, he's like, wow, I wish I could get you every time. Getting alcohol in five minutes or, or less? That's great. <laughs> then he tried to hand me $40. I was like, what? And he was like, can you give me back some change? I was like, we don't carry change. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, you already paid for this. And he said, oh, oh, I thought I had to pay you. I was like, no, no, you already paid for this. In the meantime, I'm trying to scan his ID and I'll show you, they were sending me like orders that were crap. Um, and his, of course his ID did not scan, so I had to enter the information, but I'm getting better at it. So I had, I was able to do it a lot quicker. It's still very inconvenient for me and for the customer, but um, Dean is all set. We are waiting for number two. Well, I do not want to drive around wasting my gas, and I also don't want to sit with the car and the AC on wasting my gas. So I am parked in an area that's usually pretty lucrative, waiting for orders. I was just looking over um, Instacart and I didn't see anything that looks good. Um, DoorDash is not offering any peak pays. I think I might just turn Corner Shop on because um, they're having a special this weekend. If you do 10 orders, you get $75. So I might just go that route if nothing's popping here. Dan, I'm legit in the middle of like the busy zone. It's like an extra buck 50. I'll show you right here. And they're sending me shit, nothing but shit. It's almost like the more I decline, the more shit they keep sending me. I don't know what's going on it's saturday i miss vacation i miss spring break i can't make this shit up i signed into doordash and what is going on i don't understand and like with my instacart it's showing me orders in tampa where i was like two hours ago i don't understand i don't understand i actually got a doordash and an uber at the same time both of which i would have taken. The DoorDash was for Chipotle, two miles for six dollars. Um, I would have taken that one if I hadn't gotten the Uber one that was like ten something for like a few miles. So um, off to the Kalua Coffee, whatever it's called, to go pick up the order. Let's go get the ground. The one and only store that actually says to use the drive through so here I am. How you doing? I'm picking up an Uber order for Dan. Thank you. It's a small place. Hello. How you doing? Thank you. Hello. I parked and then sorry, said to use the driver. <laughs> Thanks so much. Have a good one. You too. 
hot room, right? Good. All right, we got the glob. Let's go bring this to Dan. That was a feedback door. Um, on my way there, I got an order to Burger King, which is not my favorite place to go because they're never ready. But it was like nine something going like four something miles. So it was definitely worth it. Quick 18 minutes it says so. We will see off to BK to pick up the grub. On this bridge since I moved here over two years ago and actually they just started doing more work to it recently I wonder if they'll ever be done twice and left messages but nobody's coming out um, the timer has started I've got like three minutes left on the timer I think I'm just gonna leave it at the door because I don't want this food but make sure I take a picture and everything I don't know what to do because literally the instructions said to wait in your car I was waiting in my car for like at least five minutes and I texted I called everything and there was no response from the customer whatsoever finally i'm like what am i going to do i don't want this food and the timer's running i had like three minutes or two minutes left of the timer and i look back and there's somebody outside smoking a cigarette and i can't get out of the car and i said are you jenner jenner which i am so sorry if i chopped that pronunciation but that's how it looks <laughs> That's probably it. Turn right on. Je ne <laughs> but anyways, um, and she said, yep. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I have an order here for um, Burger King. And she said, yep. Yeah. And I was like, oh, all right, because it said to wait in the car. So she's like, oh, were you waiting long? And I was just like, no, no, it's all right. And I said, uh, it's a lot of food. I didn't want, you know, to have to cancel it. And she's like, yeah, I got a bunch of kids and then I'm babysitting one. But after the fact, I'm like, you know, I should have covered my ass on that one. But as I was waiting, I did get another order and I am about to pick up the grub right now. I was unaware that it was a double order. So this is orders four and five. And just so funny that the pickup for the second order is exactly where the drop off for the first one is. Like it's right next to it. So I am killing two birds with one stone here. All right, let's go deliver this. The easiest drop-offs I've ever had, but oh my gosh, it's so hot out. It's gotta be like 96 degrees out. It is so hot. It's so hot out today, my gosh. I hate when it's this hot out. Like the problem with Florida and delivering food in this heat is you need your AC. You have to have a hot bag, like you have to, because your AC, you can't survive with out AC down here like I wouldn't be able to do it but I also closed my vent so that's near the food so it doesn't get the food cold I mean I try That order was a leave at door and they said please leave on porch the customer came outside and it must have been some sort of a pin because I have my pin set that new um, thing that they sent us that says that some deliveries may require a pin I changed mine to be set with Wi-Fi right on Poplar Street Northeast so that 
when my phone is near the person's phone who has the pin or whatever, it'll automatically connect or whatever, and I won't have to put the pin in. It's um, you know, through Wi-Fi or whatever. So I believe that's it's what right happened because it was requiring me to take a picture, but then once him and I connected and I handed him the food, it automatically switched to slide for delivered. So beats the hell out of me. I mean, if, if you guys have experienced that and you know differently, just let me know what it is or what you think it is. But I definitely noticed with some of my Uber Eats orders, um, they'll just clear out without me sliding for delivered. And I believe it's because of that whole pin thing and where I have it connecting wirelessly. So I guess and that's right. a good way for them to, for me to prove that I delivered the order, I guess, because it, it only goes through if our phones connect. So they can't say I didn't hand them the order if our phones connected through Wi-Fi. So having that been said, let's go get the grub. <laughs> I think this is order number six. know that I had two pickups again. How does this keep sliding past me without me knowing? I mean, seriously. <laughs> we have both orders for William and Martina and we will be on the way. It says it's only 1.9 miles, so... I knew it was too high a pay for such little work. Martina is literally three minutes away and her instructions say that she is in the same building as the yoga studio and to call her if I can't find her. But I think I've been here before. I just dropped that one off and it says that William is two minutes away. So this is pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it's just way too hot out here to be walking to from one hotel to the next or to even be going to the wrong place uber put the pin at hollander hotel when the customer was really at the courtyard so lucky for me once i entered he kind of followed me through and said is that for william <laughs> and he got the order dude it is hot can you guys see how flustered i am and my hair is like wet because i'm sweating it's so hot Ugh. All right, I got another order. It's a double order, which will be orders, I think, eight and nine, because I think that one was six and seven, and I think I only need nine orders to get the $18, I think. So I believe these will be my last two orders, because it says it'll take about 45 minutes, and I'm only working until two. So let's go get the grub. <laughs> St. Pete, there is some nice scenery downtown. Oh, I'm so glad that these two are my last orders. So I got the food, even though it was hard to get to. There was no parking for the second pickup for Janie. I am on the way, and she's about 12 minutes away, and I will get there pretty much right at 2, and then I still got to drop the other order off. Total wine is like right around the corner. So I turned on DoorDash and they sent me an order for Jenny Craig, which I didn't even know we picked up at Jenny Craig. And then they sent me an order for Total Wine. So here I am at Total Wine picking up an order. It's actually 
kind of headed towards my way home. It does work out, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it's a good payout. and um, I'm ending it here. Uh, I'm home, I just pulled up. I went out and I got out early this morning, started early. Uh, I will put all my totals out here so you can see what I made. Um, I did do Amazon Flex this morning too, so um, uh, I will get you, keep you guys informed. But other than that, you guys go make that money, honey, and make plenty of it, all right? There's plenty to go around if you can find them amongst all these low-ball orders. All right, guys, stay safe. Peace out.